As much as the Russian team is living in the present, this is just too competitive a tournament not to be, it's a stretch to imagine that there aren't several minds wandering just a little towards Sochi nine months from now. Well, absolutely. Uh, when uh, uh, Billy Dinov uh, 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 became the head coach of this national team, uh, his primary goal is uh, to, uh, to get the team ready uh, for Olympic Games in Sochi. So all those last two years, uh, last year uh, World Championship and this year uh, Euro, uh, Euro Tours and World Championship, this is the preparation for Sochi. And for a couple of years now, no matter where you caught up with the Russian coach, he talked about the goal. Gold in Sochi. We have a couple of years to, to be ready to, for uh, the Olympic Games in Sochi, so uh, my goal is uh, make a team. Make a team who can get the mm -hmm. high step. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And, as was the case for Canada in 2010, anything less than that high step, gold, will be judged a failure. And as was the case with Canada in 2010, guys playing in the World Championship that precedes an Olympic Games are very much aware of trying to play themselves into the picture with the Olympic team nine months later. I can tell you unequivocally that in 2009, Drew Doughty and Danny Heatley both played their way onto Canada's Olympic team based on their performances at that World Championship. Shea Weber, another guy who they liked, they were considering, but his performance at the World Championship in 2009 sealed his place on the Olympic team nine months later. There is no question that every single guy on this Russian team who's sort of a bubble guy who's being considered is very much aware of the degree to which his performance is being analyzed at this tournament. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, uh, when we had meetings with the players before every tournament, uh, uh, coaching staff want to send a message to the players uh, next year at the Olympic Games. Uh, it's going to be spots only where uh, uh, the best players at that time can uh, go. Obviously, there are some spots are already taken by some players, but there is going to be some uh, room in the roster. And if you're going to be ready, if you, you, you prove you really good during this uh, this season and you're going to be good and, and uh, right before Olympic Games you have a good chance to go. One curious, some might say bold move by the Russians is that the majority of the team will be made up of players from the KHL. Sure, there will of course be NHL stars, but team officials place a lot of stock in the players in the Russian Pro League. Yeah, we will have some uh, star, star players from NHL, but uh, but fundamentation of this team is going to be players from KHL, uh, guys who's uh, playing every tournament for this uh, uh, this national team, also who is very familiar with the style we want to play. Will it work? We'll see. Another gold here at the World Championship would certainly inspire some confidence. Reporting for IIHF.com, I'm Paul Romanak.